Come along and have a listen to make sure there's nothing that you're missing on the CVS Morning Announcements. Holidays, birthdays, and the weather too. There's always something new on the CVS Morning Announcements. There's no better way to start your day. Let's see what Mr. Hall has to say on the CVS Morning Announcements. Good morning, Castle and Village School. It is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020, and here are your morning announcements. Uh, first of all, another look at the weather, because the news here has been great and will continue to be great. We, for at least one more day, we will continue to ride this hot streak. We have a high of 90 today, folks. Sunny, sunny, sunny through the morning. A little bit of clouds coming in the afternoon, but really no chance of precipitation. Ten uh, percent chance around three. But other than that, looks like an absolutely beautiful day today. So that will be fun. Seventy-one already, according to weather.com. So that is great. Okay, um, on the calendar, no birthdays today, but we do have a few holidays. It is World Otter Day. Um, I saw an otter not that long ago. Uh, and then it's also World MS Day. So MS stands for multiple sclerosis. And if you don't know what that is, um, to do my part in raising awareness for MS on on uh, World MS Day, I'm just going to read you a little bit about what MS is from nationalmssociety.org. So, multiple scler sclerosis, MS, is an unpredictable disease of the central nervous system that disrupts the flow of information within the brain and between the brain and body. It's actually a pretty rare disease, but I know a few folks that have MS. Um, and it's really tough. So today we we raise awareness and are thinking of everyone who's affected um, or impacted by multiple sclerosis. All right. Um, a few announcements here this morning for you folks. Um, on Friday this week, two days from today, uh, the 29th at 11 a.m., we will have our school-wide awards assembly and um, invites for that were sent out by email to students yesterday. And then um, in our newsletter, which will go out today, we have some information for parents to call in to that assembly should they choose. So that's kind of cool. Um, parents don't generally attend the CVS assemblies. Um, but, you know, I thought maybe that would be a, a cool thing we could do. Um, if folks or parents and guardians are free Friday around 11 to call in, they can call in and listen to our assembly. All right. Um, this Friday is also the last day to um, submit for the virtual talent show. So still hoping to see some cool things for you on, uh, on that front. And um, also, seventh graders, be checking your email. Uh, you should have a message about this already from either uh, Miss Chansey or Mrs. Crum. But next Friday, which is June 5th, you're going to have an opportunity to have a uh, Google conference with Doug Wilhelm, um, who's an author of one of the books you've been reading. 
You might recognize that name from the cover. Um, and so I'll be looking for an invitation to come to attend that. Uh, that inv invitation, as I understand, is going to come out on the 4th, um, but on the 5th at 11 a.m., um, you will all be, uh, all the seventh graders have a chance to go on and, and meet with Doug Wilhelm and hear him answer some of your questions. And so that'll be really cool. All right. Um, also, I wanted to mention that we sent this out to parents uh, last week, but I want to mention something to you students. Um, as of this upcoming Monday, June 1st, we're going to take the last two weeks of school. So from the 1st to the 12th, and we are going to take two weeks to try to catch folks up if you've fallen a little bit behind. Um, and if you're on track, you're going to get some sort of fun, light, um, well, maybe not light, but some kind of extension activity to do over the, the two weeks, some, some enrichment there. So um, I just wanted to, to put that out there. If you're feeling like you're getting a little bit behind, you are going to have a, a two-week period where teachers are going to be working with you to get you caught up. Um, but in the meantime, uh, you know, let's let's do the best job we can over the next three days and uh, see where we're at at that point. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll be back on tomorrow. Take care.